Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbounced Breakfast with Cthulhu's. Let's continue on in uh, Stellaris 1.4 Kennedy as the Great Old Ones in our attempt to conquer the galaxy. We're currently at war with the... Wow, apparently even just having the fleet selected makes my game lag. What the hell? Is it because it's way too massive? Is that why? Too much to uh, scroll through? I guess so. You know what? We'll just have it unselected then. We'll just give them our orders and then just keep them, um, keep them unselected. But uh, yeah, we're currently at war with the Thembalon and the... Kixlufran Interstellar Republic. Apparently it's a dispute, but... Uh, okay, well... Way to kind of play it down. Anyways, we're trying to vassalize the Kixlufran. And hopefully integrate them because their names are nigh unpronounceable. What I forgot to do last episode was actually get this integration started with the Larongo clans. So let's get that going. In the meantime, do we want to possibly eradicate Um uh, Oh right, I keep forgetting that we actually take a huge penalty to happiness when we're in offensive wars. It's kind of stupid, but anyways, sure. Let's um, let's do this. So we're waiting for our transports to all merge, um, and that should be much better, or we should be in a better place. So yeah, just having this selected makes the game lag, which is a little strange to me. But then again, we've seen in um, I think that's one of the limitations of the uh, game engine, because I think they use the same game engine in uh, Stellaris as they do in uh, Crusader Kings 2. And if you do watch my um, March of the Jewish Horde campaign, uh, you've, you've probably noticed that uh, recently it's been lagging a fair bit whenever I had the Vassal uh, screen open because I have like over a hundred Vassals and I think that kind of bogs the game down a little bit. So it might be a limitation of the engine, I don't know. Hopefully they'll get it fixed, not sure. If it's possible, but yeah. Where are you guys? And why do I have an extra transport or why do we have an extra elite warrior thing? Gene warrior, that's it. What planet can we give away? Because we're currently over our um, planet limit or sector limit. System limit? That's it, system limit. Colonize this planet. Uh, you know what? You can go here. Agenda's Prime, sure. Fair enough. Uh, <sighs> do we give away Bobby's laxative? No. I'm not gonna give away our main planet. That's ridiculous. Ross? No, or I shall decide. It does create a fair bit of um resources, so maybe not. If these planets were by themselves, I would be more than willing to give them away, but I have two planets in one system, and that's generally not something that I do want to give away. We're being insulted by the vassals that we're integrating, as well as these giant-ass mushrooms. Kind of dumb thing to do on their part, but you know what? I won't fault them. Maybe we give away Anders Benson? Or do we give away Bernard? No, no, Bernard Karp has three planets in one. That's amazing. Maybe must have one. Because, no, no, no. Uh, Anders Benson. 8956 is how much Anders Benson makes. Yeah. Maybe give away must have one. Okay. It'll also make this sector look a lot prettier. Which is a huge factor in everything that we do. And I don't think that made much of a difference in our um, resource generation. Oh, they're all merged. Good. Okay, you can finally land and end the siege. Go, go! How do you like that? 26 gene warriors. 
bearing down on you. Okay. Now that we have this selected, <laughs> the game's gonna lag. So let's make sure to just give them the orders to invade and then just unselect them. Because that's ridiculous. See? The game complete. performance is much better now. Just when I have the fleet selected. I didn't notice that before. I don't know if that was a thing. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, Ikazuri. Is this where you have most of your fleet? Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have approximately six times, or I guess, yeah, approximately six, five or six times um, my fleet. This is insane. Holy crap. Look at that, guys. That is the majority of the Ikazuri fleet, I believe. It's good to know that, uh... It's good to kind of see the numbers that we're facing here. Holy crap. Look at that, they have a lot of armor with their Battlecruiser class. Hit points, uh... 3.7k. Military power, about 3,000. Damn. I wonder how their maintenance is doing. I'm assuming they're still well above um, positive with their uh, energy or with their resource generation, considering that they have a lot of planets under their rule. The supremacy class? Is that? No, no, that's a. No, that's not the glory class. What am I looking here? Oh, the imperium class. Holy shit! One of these things by itself is 15. Thousand military power with 18 with not all oh, close to 19,000 hit points and uh, lots of armor So it's a it's a good thing that we have um, weapons that effectively not ignore armor, but Ignore the majority of armor. I think that's gonna be a big factor. Holy shit So that's what we were facing with the Ikazuri. Um, not quite sure how to deal with that besides doing the whole uh, fortress flower thing but even so, fleet engaged. Situation log updated. I think it would be impossible for us to face all of them at the same time. Maybe we can face them like one fleet at a time? Or maybe one or two fleets at a time. But all of them at once might be asking a bit much. <sighs> I'm thinking... What am I thinking? I'm thinking what we might need to do is chip away at their planets, thus chipping away at their resource generation, and maybe they'll go over there, or maybe they'll go into the red, and once they're depleted from energy, they'll actually have a lot of planets start rebelling, and that might distract their main fleet, and we might be able to pick them off one by one that way. Situation log I don't know updated. if it's possible, I don't know Situation if it's a viable strategy. Updated. I'm thinking that it might be, and holy crap, I didn't realize that our research would take this long. Holy shit, really? Did research speed get nerfed in uh, the last patch? Because that's... That just went up. What the hell? That's insane. I... Don't even know what to say about that. That's just... Batshit crazy right now. Yep. Yeah. That's just nuts. Oh my god. <laughs> that's sad. Not gonna lie, that's sad. But I guess that's kind of what we get for having um, way too high of a population. Wait. What happened with our fleet limit? I, I swear, our naval capacity went down. Like, by a lot. At least by a hundred or something, I think. Or am I just imagining things? We did lose the uh, spaceport on uh, Anders Benson, but... Didn't think that would make that much of a difference. Okay, let's get these guys over... Here? Or are our vassals... Are, are, are our vassals doing the job for us? Possibly? Then let's go over to this one. Take that over. Fantastic. So wait, when I have the game paused, does it still lag? No, it doesn't. 
Wait, it's not lagging now. What the hell is happening? Research complete. What is it like sometimes and sometimes not? Okay, now it's lagging. Now that I've actually Hostile looked at the fleet, fleet it's lagging again. Situation log updated. It seems a little strange to me. Does it seem a little strange to anyone else? Let's get, uh, I guess, kinetic weapon damage, although we don't use a ton of kinetic weapons. Hostile oh, fleet well. engaged. Situation log updated. What are you guys doing over there? Okay. See, when I'm I, even when I'm looking at them, and I have them selected, performance is fine. I think as soon as they they're mobile, no. It's very strange. I don't quite understand what's happening with the performance here. Situation log updated. Situation log updated. And is it lagging now? Engaged. Slightly. Colony established. What colony? Oh, it's uh, this thing here, isn't it? Agendas? Yeah, thought so. Hostile Let's get engaged. Dongard here. Colonize as well. Situation log updated. That way we'll have extra um, naval capacity and whatnot. Sure, Dongar Prime. And then we'll um, just give it to a, the Turkey sector. You guys are bombarding. Fantastic. Now you can station land. Under attack. What are you guys doing to my stations? What the hell are my vassals doing? They were here and then they just kind of buggered off. Like, what the hell? Thank you. Planet Good thing you surrendered. Failed. Uh, yeah, because we didn't need them to invade. Come on, man. Get your shit together. Let's get them back to... Really, yeah. Fantastic. And get them upgraded? Who exactly needs upgrading here? Our ship designs. They're, I guess, the same as before? I don't know. Yeah, I think we're good still. Alright, so we have another vassal. Fantastic. We still have... Oh, these guys are our vassals too already. Construction okay, complete. And I believe... Right, the thralls under the Ikazuri. So I think next time we go to war with the Ikazuri, we'll have another fleet kind of like destroy this uh, frontier outpost. Who are these guys? Oh, right, there are vassals? We can't integrate these guys because there are protectorates, and I don't know when their technology level is going to be anywhere near ours. So what we'll do is actually we'll release them as a subject, and then we'll have a truce for a little bit, but then... What the hell? You're at war with a Thembalon. Sure, do whatever you want. What the hell? Rebels of the Ikazuri? Uh oh, that means the Ikazuri fleet's gonna come for them. Probably? How you guys doing? You guys are still like, baffing about here, okay. They're the thralls under the Ikazuri, okay. I don't quite know what's happening here. These guys are the rebels of the... What? The rebels of the Thembalon? Oh, I see what's happening. They're rebelling against the Thembalon because now the Thembalon had their uh, fleets crushed, right? And there's another faction that's rebelling against the Ikazuri. I see. Okay. And these guys, we need to eventually... Try to obliterate them? I don't know. We'll see. How are our planets doing? Let's get these upgraded. You're upgrading to the regular class. Okay, cool. Normal class, right? Yeah, because I don't think we're actually building any other types of um, battleships here. 
don't exactly know what you're upgrading. Since they don't even have auto upgrade on. There's nothing to upgrade to. We have pretty much everything at their full potential. Like the enigmatic power core and whatnot. Which we were really lucky to to acquire. Established. Alright, the Dongar. Let's get it swallowed up by uh, Turkulays immediately. Not necessary to keep it. Fantastic. You guys can do whatever the hell you want with it. And we are actually back to 2.4k uh, with our mineral generation, which is fantastic. You know what? We do need to increase our fleet capacity, so... Or not fleet capacity, but... We do need to create more, um... Or... Improve our fleet, so... I guess we'll get on with that. Let's create some more flat class. Because I know they have a lot of, uh... Fighter ships and whatnot. Um, okay. I guess we forgot to upgrade this thing after we... Made it. I know it got destroyed during the, um... During the Thembalon fight. And you guys can create more or fleet academies. Which should help out a lot. Or not maybe not a lot, but should help out a little bit, perhaps? Hopefully. Does anyone not have a fleet academy? Basically everyone. Okay, we need more influence for that. Ah, shit. We're integrating things, so... <laughs> I guess that's not gonna work. Can we... Cancel this, and instead get it made on... Akabesh. Which is one of our main... Planets. Cancel that. Get that made on Remco. Which is, again, another one of our... Um... Main planets? Should we invest in engineering bays? I feel like possibly? Might be a good idea? Construction complete. Because it does reduce ship upkeep um, for the ships that are made there, so... Complete. Might be helpful, I don't know. Complete. We'll find out, I guess. Construction complete. You're... Okay, you're making your fleet academy. You're upgrading, fantastic. Almost there. Nope, you already have one. Fantastic. Good job. Good hustle. Come on. Let's get ma one mail on basically everything. And since we have a shit ton of uh, minerals, it's not gonna be a uh, big concern for us at all. Which is fantastic. So I think we can't, unfortunately, um, Construction complete. retroactively Construction complete. Uh, add or add that ship modifier thing to them, right? You know what? These planets complete. actually don't need. No, that's not that. Planet. Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction you complete. Guys, doing all right there. Guys don't need observatories complete. because they don't actually generate any um, complete. science research. Construction complete. Bobby's Construction poop doesn't have a spaceport? Really? Construction complete. Fantastic. Oh, you're still making your shit there. Oh, because you were busy upgrading your uh, upgrading the fleet. Okay, cool. I was about to give you crap, but then no. You're just doing what you're told. Construction complete. Construction complete. <sighs> You almost done yet? No. Still got half a year to go with these guys. Okay. Alright. Uh, so next target would be the Thembalon. Oh, we can declare war on them again? Has it really been that long? Wow, I didn't think that was, uh, that was the case, but... I guess so. We don't need them to seed their planet, no. I'd rather not take those planets just yet, especially since we're also integrating these guys. So you need to worry about, um, you know, 
uh, planet management and all that shit with them. Let's get them to see the western or eastern portion of their of their uh, empire here. So Halax and shitload of Trondi, I guess. Uh, apparently that's not possible because Trondi has four friggin' planets. Good God. Maybe Shumac? Still over it. Damn it. You jerks. You know what? Fine. Whatever. Good enough. And the lag starts again. Fantastic. Good. Go over there. Do your thing. And my transport fleet is following them, right? Yep. Fantastic. Wow, didn't seem like that long ago that we um, won that war, but I guess it has been. Strange. Construction complete. Kind of feels like I didn't really get that much done this episode, but Hostile fleet maybe engaged. I'm wrong there. Can I delete this? Hostile fleet oh, we engaged. can. Okay, so that's that's pretty cool. Apparently, that's how you get rid of um. Yeah, so if that. Uh, if that disband button is still grayed out for you, you can just press delete on your keyboard and it'll actually uh, let you disband it. Fantastic. So yeah, let's just disband these um, wormhole stations because we don't need them anymore. Because our FTL is... Uh, we're using the side drives. Situation log updated. Which again Situation are powered by the um, Korean singer. Just clones and droves of them. Construction Near complete. limitless power. Is that pretty much all our wormhole stations? No, not quite. Not quite. Is that it? I think that's pretty much it. I'm sure there's some wormhole stations around the rest of the galaxy that we haven't really done anything about. Maybe? I don't know. You don't have a wormhole station? Oh, we do. Oops. How's our fleet doing? Good job, guys. See, the performance is decent. Even when I'm, like, zoomed in on the, uh, this fleet here, but... Complete. Whenever, I have, whenever I have them selected, that's when the, uh, game chugs. Very strange. Enemy planet secured. Good job, guys. Let's get you over to Thembor. Destroy their, you know, their main fleet. Are they still rebelling? You guys are at war, and they're actually winning. Wow. Huh. Hostile you know fleet what? Engaged. Good for you guys. Situation log updated. Very good for you guys. You'll show those Thembor what's up, I guess. Can we... Hostile fleet so I've noticed we can't demand vassalization of um, planets that only engaged. own one sector. Situation log I don't know if that's a feature, if that's Situation working as intended updated. or what. But Hostile fleet maybe. Engaged. Does seem a little strange to me, but... Hostile then again, what do I know, right? Situation log updated. Right, good. So our naval capacity updated. is improving, but should get a lot better once we integrate these uh, subjects of ours. Holy crap! No, no, that's not. I, I don't want to look at my planet. No, that's what I'm gonna look at. So how are you guys in terms of cruisers? Let's get a couple more made. By a couple more, I mean like a shit ton more. Oh, no, I didn't ask for three, did I? Game, did I? No, I didn't. Seven, there we go. That's seven, right? Yep, that's seven. Fantastic. What happened to the uh, precursor thing? You said that I could find some more evidence on Dongar or whatever. And so far, Dongar has been absolutely disappointing. Where, where is it? 
Dong our prime. What are you doing, man? You're a disappointment. Enemy planet secured. If you were an Asian child, I'd be asking you why you're not a doctor yet. Get you guys over to Obrium. The whole same song and dance all over again. Come on, Thembalon. You guys know exactly how this is going to go down. What the hell? What's happening here? Oh. Really? Oh, right. It's because we have... Um, our flag fleet. Updated. Trying to join the main group. Hostile fleet I see. Engaged. Uh, please don't. Oh, okay, good. No, that, that you guys can. You guys can uh, can go ahead and do your thing. Situation log updated. Construction complete. What situation log? What? Are you... Oh, it's because of the debris, right? I see. See, performance is pretty good. Construction complete. I think they might have improved that. I don't know. I have no idea what performance they updated because it just said performance has been updated. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Construction complete. Construction complete. There's kind of a lot of parts to this. Complete. Construction performance complete. exactly? Who knows? Construction complete. Really? Is the construction complete game? Is it complete? Yeah, when we integrate you guys, we're gonna change your name from Jurg Pulig to something a little bit more pronounceable. And doesn't sound like some kind of like weird ass disease that involves a shit ton of mucus pouring out of every orifice. Just disgusting people. Disgusting. Should we get rid of them? You know what? Our vassals can take care of them. Unless, of course, they don't again. Which is very possible. Yeah. So, the lag that I get from this game it appears because if I have everything paused, it's absolutely just peachy. Nothing, nothing lags. Yep, nothing lags at all. I think it's mostly from the processor side of things. Situation log updated. Not a pretty decent processor, but maybe I need to get an upgrade. Then again, that's one of the pitfalls of uh, PC gaming, isn't it? Hostile fleet engaged. Just constantly feel like you need to upgrade. S spend like Situation thousands of dollars updated. every few years getting a new computer. If only I were rich. How is the rest of my st uh, planets doing? What the hell is happening here? Stopped guaranteeing the independence of the Rixie Nation? Oh, they actually did win their rebellion against the Thembalon. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. I guess the uh, Thembalon uh, gave up. That's uh, pretty awesome. Maybe we'll see some uh, rebellions spring up um, with the Ikazuri if we actually decide to take on their fleets. But they're all clustered together, and that's kind of the issue right now. Is this clustering isn't really helping us. If they were separate, you might be able to pick them off one by one, but... Considering that I think they pretty much move at the same pace too, it might not be a good idea to try to, uh, um... do the whole Flower Fortress thing until we have like a shit ton more, um... In terms of fleet. Okay. So they've been enthralled by the uh, Kazuri. Good job, guys. Kind of a stupid thing to do. You guys should have been uh, become vassals of ours. You know what, though? Actually, maybe not. Considering that we have um, extreme genocidal tendencies, maybe they're actually better off being thralls under the Kazuri. Than uh, being our vassals. <laughs> okay. Let's get you guys over to Thronde next. I'll be a shitload of plans to take over there. Ikazuri, Ikazuri. What should we do with you? I'm actually wondering if we should just, you know, fuck our naval capacity. 
and just go way over it and try to just outnumber them and then do the whole um, fortress flower thing because I don't know I don't really know how to split them up we could try distracting them with a couple of like uh, corvettes around their um, around their systems but I don't know if it's gonna be entirely possible I don't know if it'll work because I've never tried before so but this war is going to have to um, end in our next episode because we're currently out of time. But uh, yeah, we should be able to see the conclusion quite swiftly. But anyways, yeah, we'll leave it off here for now and come back again in the next episode. So thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.